Whew, good morning and welcome to Christians Aren't Sheep, a beginner's guide to meditation. My name is Ron, I'm the host of this show, and this is a channel you don't have to subscribe to, you don't have to hit the like button, you don't have to hit the little bell for notifications, because I do this every day. <laughs> and I definitely won't ask you for any money. <sighs> but it's a good place to come and hang out and calm the mind and body, get a little devotional time in, give you something to think about meditating on. Whew. I did my devotional reading already this morning for my workout. Did my hour on the uh, weight machine, tread climber, and stationary bike. So my body's all warmed up. And had some time to meditate on the reading and it's Really a timely message this morning, especially in these <clears throat> times of great uncertainty with, with what disease are they going to bring up next, what's the next war going to be, where's it going to be, what's the next natural disaster, weather disaster they're planning for us. There's tons of things to worry about. <laughs> but yeah, today's devotional is real timely. So, oh, <laughs> let's get after it and see if I can do this. <laughs> Without my glasses. Nope, I don't have a pair of glasses down here. Hang on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Whew. Okay, let's get after the devotional. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. What do people really get for all their hard work? I have seen the burden God has placed on us all. Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So I concluded there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor, for these are gifts from God. Amen? And I know that whatever God does is final. Nothing can be added to it or taken from it. God's purpose is that people should fear Him. What is happening now has happened before. And what will happen in the future has happened before. Because God makes the same things happen over and over again. <laughs> so there's nothing new under the sun. <sighs> the 
Work hard. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Amen. And I wanted to add a little bit of context here in, in my uh, Bible. Here, there's a little side section. I just like to read a little bit of it. Some of us avoid or cope with our own pain by trying to fix the world. We try, we try to right every wrong, heal every wound, point out every injustice. We spend our time demanding that the world system reform. We may also dedicate ourselves to rescuing and reforming those we love. Our zealousness is set the world has to set the world right can be a means of denying that we are powerless to do so. There's lots of evidence of that in this world of people trying to set the world right. <laughs> it's pointless. It's <sighs> Okay, let's see what our daily bread has for us this morning. True happiness. In the 10th century, Abba, Ab, Abdal Rahman, Ram, Rahman III was the ruler of Cordoba, Spain. After 50 years of successful reign, Beloved by my subjects, dreaded by my enemies, and respected by my allies, al Rahman took a deeper look at his life. Riches and honors, power and pleasure have waited on my call. He said it of his privileges. But when he counted how many days of genuine happiness he'd had during that time, they amounted to just fourteen. How sobering! The writer of Ecclesiastes was also a man of riches and honor, power and pleasure, and his own life evalu evaluation was equally sobering. Riches, he realized, just led to a desire for more, while pleasures accomplished little, and success could be due to chance as much as ability. But his assessment didn't end as bleakly as all Ramans. Believing God was his ultimate source of happiness, he saw that eating, working, and doing good could all be enjoyed when done with him. Oh man! Al Rahman concluded his reflections, Place not thy confidence in this present world. The writer of Ecclesiastes would agree. Since we've been made for eternity, earthly pleasures and achievements won't satisfy by themselves. But with him, our lives, genuine happiness is possible in our eating, working, and living. <sighs> Heavenly Father, today I will do all things with you by my side. Amen. <laughs> Oh, great devotional, <clears throat> great thing to meditate on as you're uh, doing your stretching routine or your exercise routine, <sighs> meditate on enjoying life. Have a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.